Mike Tyson with this DMX intro backdrop. I'm anxious as if I'm fighting. This is a huge moment for the history of mixed martial arts and for the International Boxing Hall of Famer, Mike Tyson. It all works together. It really just all works together whenever you watch Mike Tyson from the song to the, the look, to the bobbing of the head, to the posse. Iron Mike Tyson is just one of those guys that draws you in, and he is bringing a lot of new eyes to the UFC octagon. He can wrestle a little bit too, John, so don't be surprised if on the first shot, Mike Tyson hits him with the big sprawl to defend his leg. Only thing I can guarantee you, he's not gonna be taking any bites of cauliflower here <laughs> in the octagon tonight. We're certainly happy to have Mike Tyson. Let's see how it goes. another combination so it's never just one shot there's always two or three coming behind a lot of times people throw singular strikes not this gentleman this man is stringing four or five six in a row what a great job tyson gets caught by the straight punch he's got to start moving his head he cannot take this many shots to the head slip and counter by tyson Well, he misses with the left punch there. Rips the body there for good measure. Well, missed on that one. Oh, that's another hook. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. 
So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast, Eric Ross. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Tyson's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Hook shot lands. Just misses there with the left. Nice crack there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. That's some power there. Oh, the hook land. Final seconds here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now on the to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, nice right hand. Unable to connect with the right. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot. Oh! Oh, no. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Tyson's really making things difficult for the opposition right now, continuing to target that damaged nose and. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, huge left. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, Leeds. He's hurt. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to affect our You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low. Oh, oh, that was a low change. Great one. It's been a crazy fight.
Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for the Black Beast Derek Lewis. You know, few heavyweights have been as active and few have been as effective as Lewis dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continues to pile up the UFC wins and he adds to that total here tonight.